Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jet TV. I am J11. This is Football Merger 2021. The youth academy chance save with Atletico Tlatte Portugal. We've got a national A license now and we're looking very good. And we're now studying for the Continental C license, which is already great because our reputation is now 45% or 2.25 stars. And for me, that is great. We are getting better and better. And our attributes are now looking like this. Who would have thought that after three seasons we'd all be this good if I wanted to compare my attributes from the very, very, very beginning? Our attacking has gone up by nine. Our defense has gone up by eight. Our fitness has gone up by three. Our tactical, technical have gone up by nine as well. The mental has gone up by six. The working with youngsters has gone up by four. The determination has gone up by seven. Our player knowledge has gone up by seven. Our youngster knowledge has gone up by nine. Our level of discipline has gone up by 15. Our man management and motivation have both gone up by 9. So we're already good in that regard. And we're looking very, very strong indeed. But yes, we literally got our approval from the board to improve our coaching badges. Just on the 11th of May, 8 days ago. So 4 months of tape for us. It only cost £960. And I was very happy about this. They were at one point questioning this. Because they were... Honestly, fearing that we would probably try and go to a bigger club. And quite frankly, considering this is a challenge where I want to say this club, I can understand why they're concerned. I would just never leave. I don't want to leave this club. I do not want to leave this club. I think it's a good club for me right now. That being said, though, we've had quite a few games and we're about to have a last game of the league campaign. So, how have we been getting on since we last met? Since we last met, we have continued to be good defensively. Though we had 10 shots in this game and had none on target. Why are we not getting our shots on targets? You fools. We can do better than this. It's just a shame really that we have the attacking power. We have the ability to score goals. But we didn't show it in this game. And I know we can 100% win this game 9 times out of 10. So a little disappointing we did not win here. And we only got a new old draw. Then we took on Alvalka. And we were beaten. Like legitimately beaten for the first time in months. And we could see for the first time in months. This is an 8 point. But the first time since February we considered... So after going an entire month without conceding, we finally conceded the goal. They were tuned up inside 48 minutes. And honestly, Rocha was a nightmare to deal with. And he plays it to Leandro. And we deserve to lose this game. Legitimately, we haven't been bossed like this since our game against Academica. And Academica are really good. So it legitimately surprised me how much we struggled in this game. And it gave me food for thought for the future, I think. Because losing 2-0 for the first time in months, that was a, a nice three I had to check. So admittedly... Averka are also trying to get promoted this year, so it kind of told me that they are a really good side. We then took a victorious Tutabao and we drew 0 0 again. They had more shots than we did, but we kept them out and Caprita got the man of the match performance. He made five saves, apparently, so that's nice. And we definitely showed that we deserve to be here. And I think that what we've done this year was not a one off and was not a fluke. They went for a 3 5 2 formation and we kept them out, so it was nice. It was really nice to keep them out, really. We then took on Favi, and for the first time in a while, we scored since it's the first time we scored since I win last time out. And Ivo Palmer with the first goal of his career for me and his first ever goal for the club inside 26 minutes was giving us a, a good, good start. We make it 2 0 inside 68 minutes of the game. Jenna Silva knocks it down for Ricardo Silva. Who does that? A very good finish from him. 2 0. An important finish because they score all later on. Favi were actually the better team in the second half despite the fact that we scored again. They had. Five shots to our two in the second half and legitimately after that goal went in I was fearing we were going to concede and we're not going to do well. But we held on for a 2-1 victory. A very good victory as far as I'm concerned because it meant that we have done well and I was very happy indeed. So yeah, 2-1, a good result at the end of the day. The last game we had was a 1-0 draw against Terenz and we were actually behind inside 10 minutes after Junior's shot hits the post and Tavares gets there first and make it 1-0. But just 10 minutes later, we equalised. And I was surprised. I didn't think we could. But a bit lucky, considering how lucky their goal was. But Ricardo Silva scores his second in two. And we get ourselves an equalising goal. And that was all she wrote. We literally held on. And their 4-4-2 four, four, defensive midfielder version did not do well against our 4-3-3. Three, three. So we held on. They had less shots than we did. And I was surprised how well we did in that regards. But we were the better team in the first half. And... 
Yes, they had as many shots as us in the second half. But we held on and I felt like we did a good job here. Even if some of the players were not great, but we did a job and that's all I care about really. A one all draw. Ironically enough, we've actually affected the top three as well because we lost to the team in second, but Drew gets the team in third and we lost to the team in fifth. Did we lose to you as well? I feel like we lost to this team twice. I think we lost, yeah, we lost to, lost to Tana Luosa. So we've lost to the top five teams, I think, at one point or another. We did draw against uh, Sporting, though, so that's nice. And it tells me a lot, really, doesn't it, that we can draw against Sporting. But yeah, we are doing well. We have a game against Real Abs B team who are already relegated, as are Barco. So Barco and Real Abs B team are already relegated. But yes, a good sign for us. And we're going to take on this game. I'm hopeful we get a season review after this, but... You never know, it might not happen, but they want us to actually be a lower line of engagement and ease off tackles. Uh, not going to do that. They also want us to go more positive. I'll do that actually after the game starts, but this is our lineup. Cabrito in goal, Antonisia, Diaz, Celes and Palmer in defence, Lopez in DM, Elvis and Martins in the midfielder positions, Silva and Barros playing as the wingers. Yes, Silva's actually playing as a winger this time. I think it's opened up more things for me. And Jenna Silva also starts as a striker. Hopefully we do well, and hopefully we can get all three points. Let's see how we do, shall we? I have a corner inside at 90 minutes, and Cabrita gets that. That's a very bad corner, actually. He was so close to the goalkeeper. Unless he dropped it, it was a bad one to do. And Jenna Silva on the ball. Look at the space out wide. He's going to go alone, though. Has done. Oh, he's putting it wide. Should have got that on target at least. Come on. Ivan Diaz with the free kick. He's been denied. Good save, but there you go. Ah, that explains a few things. Our positional rivals are taking on teams in the relegation fight or in the relegation zone. And we're down 18th place, so that's annoying. But a chance again to make it 1-0. Okay, so we are looking to do something here. Pina plays the ball for, but Lopez gets there first. We, can't stop. we are definitely the better team here. There's no question about it, even if the pass was terrible. But Antonisia, Elvis. Here is Silva now. Elvis again, who will need to replace at some point because he's getting older and older. Good ball out wide to Barros. Keeps it in. Well done. Can play it down to Martins. Here we go. Finds Palmer, who has been booked, but here's Lopez. Now Palmer. Uh, uh, Lopez again. Elvis, Ricardo Silva. A chance to make it play out with Anton Nasir. Has done. Again, 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, one, two. Ricardo Silva, save by the goalkeeper. And that is really good football. Palmer needs to stop sliding in because he could have been sent off. All right, and no, no draw. It's not the best result in the world, but we didn't lose anyway. And unfortunately... I think we're going to finish in 18th place, which is not ideal, to say the least. But still, it's better than I was feeling at the beginning of the season. I'm going to say this here now. I was expecting to lose every game and to be relegated, but we survived. And that's all I care about. We survived. Also, Sosa had a 7 point over 18. Goodness gracious alive. But yeah, we finished in 18th place. We finished 21 points to the relegation zone. We almost finished as low as 19th, actually, but... 19th was the worst we could have done at this stage of the season. But we dropped out all my two places. We probably... Nah, I think 50, 16th was the best we could do anyway, but we gave some young talent a debut, and I thought, why not? We might as well do it, because we've got nothing to lose here. As Sporting and Torres. Oh, Torres actually do go up. Avoca missed out, because they considered a 91st minute equaliser. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. They missed out because of the last cast equaliser. That is unfortunate. And Sporting Club de Portugal lost their last game of the season to Torres. That is actually amazing. How about that for irony? But yeah, Sporting Club de Portugal did win the title, but they could have missed out altogether. Oh, wow, okay. And, oh, Souls was actually our youngest ever player, and Souls was the youngest ever player for the League 2. Okay, I did not know he was the youngest ever player for the League. That's actually remarkable. So we've got a record here for having the youngest ever player to play in this division. That is cool. That is really, really cool. Came from the bench too, and that's this season wrapped up, I think. So that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'm going to keep going, actually, until we find out who has been promoted. Because, well, we know who's been qualified. And we want to see who comes up, though. Because there's going to be two teams that go up and down. We want to see who goes up to our division next year. We know who are going down, though, right? Do we? No, we don't. Yes, we do. Okay. So, it's these two, these two teams going down. Oh, okay. We know what's going to happen. So, that's going to be nice. Anyway, I'll be back for that. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. So, oh, my days. Okay. So, we've got new wage budgets of 32 grand, apparently, and a 1.05 million for transfers. I tell you what, I tell you what, I was not expecting that kind of money. Was not expecting that kind of money at all. Goodness gracious alive. 
Oh my god, guys, we've got end of season review. I am excited for this. I didn't think we'd get one, but apparently we get one in the third division, but not the fourth division of the new league system. Weird, isn't it? But yes, we let go of four players. We sold them all for less than 140. Yeah, we never really got more than 140 for any player. Nobody was really good enough for the, the team anymore. So yeah, we, we could be better and better. And Nav actually did well on his loan spell. And actually, I think, got more better potential now, which would be very strange, but okay. We definitely were doing well. Apparently, we got off the tail start, so dropping from 10th to 19th, finding themselves in Broad and Relegation Scrap, which they were ultimately able to escape from. Honestly, we were only expected to be in 24th place, and then we end up finishing 18th place, 21 points later, Relegation Zone. So I was happy with that. And of all things, we got to the sixth round of the. Tasa de Portugal. Yes, I know how to say it properly now. Thank you. But yeah, we literally shocked a lot of people by getting to that stage. We had to win penalties in the first game, but then we went through, went through, and beat for Milacal 3 0. I don't know how we did that, but we did. So that was a very nice situation to be in. So the biggest win was our 4 0 win against Canisal, and the match to remember was the 3 2 victory against Gondomer, who I think was the first game we had. No, it wasn't the first game we had with the new tactic. That was the. Old tactic in still play. But the goal of the season was from Amuel against Sutanes. And oh, that goal. I remember that very nicely. It was a very good goal. It's the only goal he's ever scored for us too. Imagine if that's the only goal he'll ever score for us. And he's remembered for being the best goal of his career. Of the season. Just for that. But yes, we've actually got a lot of things go up. Our sponsorship has gone up by 100,000. Which is very nice indeed. Broadcast revenue up by 200,000. Because of the cut run. We managed to make 10,000 more in the corporate and hospitality. More gains helps with that. And competition prize money, because we went through to the sixth round of the Tata da Portugal, we got an extra 26,000. And match day commercial retail up by 34,000. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, the repetition's not up, but honestly, that's not surprising. We made 15,000 in shirt sales. 1,057 of that was non-domestic. We sold just 213 shirts. Jenna Silva, Ivan Diaz, Elvis, Rodrigo Pinto, and Evandro Barros with the sales. I just realised you can't probably see the names because of how the colour clashes with the shirts. That's awkward. But yes, this is the team of the season. Caprita, no surprise, is in there. We've got Antonacia, Diaz, Simeal, and Palma in there. We've got Martins and Barros actually in the team of the season, which is surprising since I didn't think Barros would be in there. Given he, he only played uh, 18 times and had a rating of 6.66. But then we had Elvis with the attacking midfielder role, scoring 8 times, getting 3 assists. Pinto was in there this year instead of Silver, but that's because he actually got 19 goals in 31 matches. Barros is in there as well, so both Barros is in this. And Ricardo Silva also there as well. So a good season from our point of view. And this is the old tactic which was seen as ship goals for fun, but we got better and better as things went on. And yes, Caprito got an assist. I, I love that. I love that at all. We rotated the team quite a lot this season, spreading out our playing time with the squad and demonstrating our strength and depth. Not really, it's just everyone was tired or hurt, so that's annoying. Accolades. Cabrita was the player of the season. No surprise, he was the best player we had. And this was actually the award we got last year for the Portuguese National Championship Manager of the Year. No surprise there. Amo had the goal of the season. Youngest ever goal scored too. We've got Evando Barros has been the young player this season. And Pinto with the top goal score. Elvis got the most assists with eight. Cabrita with the most player the match awards and the highest average rating of seven. And Pinto getting three goals in a game is apparently the highest amount of goals scored by a player in a match and in a league match. Cabrita's 16 clean sheets was amazing. Eight minute match performances too. I think because apparently the first two seasons didn't count, it's not going to register those, but okay. But yeah, we also got Anthony C again, 13 no cards. It was the record, apparently. Bowers has played 133 times in the team now for the league. Silver's 56 goals is a record. His 23 seconds goal was also a record. Emma was the youngest ever goal scorer, 16 years and 211 days. Fernando Sosa, 15 years and 212 days, is also the youngest ever player award. So that's nice. But yeah, it's good to see this record. It's good to see this being a thing. We actually did better than expected, but not by a lot. We only were only one place higher than expected. We got two more points than expected to, or 1.2 points more. And we scored an extra two or three goals more than expected too, which is very, very nice indeed. It shows you how good we were. We weren't great, but we're very close to the average performances overall. It's just we weren't great at times, and it could be better and better. They just want us to avoid relegation again and to just survive, which is fine. 
They want me to repair the club damage as well, which is fine. I can do that. And yeah, we can work with the rage budget. We've got 32 grand to spend. Not like we're going to spend it or anything. End of season meeting. Yeah, we're going to talk to the players now. We are going to tell them we're going to be in a relegation battle. They're happy with that. Very, very good. Positive reactions. Let's make some promises. We are going to see. Yeah, we're going to say the only players are going to be here. Silver's not bothered about the promise. And Cairo and. Um, they got, you're the kind of player that will benefit from this, you morons. Oh, anyway. We're doing this, and we're going to talk to everyone at the beginning of the season. We've got a lot more negatives than we have positives in the squad, but that's fine. We are not surprised at it all. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I wonder if consistency is an issue, but here we are. At least Jan Silva and Pinto. Wait, how do they have a partnership? I could understand. How do they have a partnership? Did they? I don't think they ever played, did they? Together? Huh, weird. At least we've got a lot of young talent coming through, which is very, very nice indeed. It's also a very determined squad. Disciplining them makes your squad more determined and also makes them work harder too. This is why I do that. This is why I do that. 31 of the 64 assists in the last 50 games have come just outside the area, which is good. So we've got a lot of things we can be proud about and that's nice. We apparently had... Oh, yeah, the broken leg was an issue. 56. He missed 57% of the games. That's really bad. Good lord. But yeah, but the team will come back on the 1st of July, which is very... It's great. It's great, 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 great. You know, we won't be back in time for that. And we are going to look at this. We actually got 24% of world knowledge right now, which is very, very nice indeed. And I'm actually going to talk about this because I think we are also going to have issues because we've got some people who are out of contract. The B team people will are not looking to renew their contracts. And that's pretty much everyone apart from Boy Corrent, who has officially... We will negotiate a contract with him. He should sign a new contract. So hopefully that'll be a thing. That'll be sorted out soon. But yeah, it's one of those things, unfortunately, for us. At least we've got best and best in these. But I think our B team's going to literally have to be we vamped, which is not ideal. But maybe Tom can be part of our new backroom staff in the B team. Maybe. Who knows? Either way, I'll be back for the season where we see who is going up next year. Because I want to see how this goes through and how they do, really. Because... We we'll probably won't be back until mid soon, so that'd be nice. Also, Sporting just won the Tasa de Portugal against Porto, so another victory for them. And I think that's two in a row they've won this now. No, they've won two in the last three. They beat Porto last as well, though, in this competition, so that's good to see them do well there. And we were, understandably, the biggest overachievers in this competition. Benfica were the team to underachieve massively, so no surprise at all there. So apparently, before we even got going, we've already completed this task of repairing the club's financial damage even though i've done nothing we did nothing you just invested money like you put money into the club and you've apparently said we've achieved it i don't understand this but i really don't okay so we know who are going up this year and it's gonna be the sizzler and oh the cabinets say okay this is an interesting situation to be in now because they are the two teams going up and that's how we know so this team has definitely been a team that I've been shot to have not done it beforehand. But yeah, here we go. After three years in this division, they've finally gone up. It's taken them a bit longer than they should have done, really. They're one of the better teams. And, well, they're the second best team in the division. And a team that's going up with them is a team that's the best on paper. And didn't we beat this team? We weren't even, they didn't even win their group. I remember beating this team a few times last year. So, yeah, we're taking on this team next year. Who knows what's going to happen? I think we're going to struggle next year with these two teams coming up and the other teams coming down. But if we can do, but if we can do what we did last year, I think we're going to be very, very good indeed. But what we're going to do though is end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys like and share this video, and that you'll subscribe to the channel. Really does help me a lot. What do you think of our season? I'm actually curious to hear your responses and hear your opinions on how well we did. But I think we've achieved. I was not expecting so much money for the wages, so that's nice. Oh, also, Boy Karen actually has signed a new contract too, so our head of youth development is staying for at least another couple of years, so that's nice. But anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.